Hello, and welcome to this video on Psycho Experience Commerce 9.3. Here we're going to cover some of the new marketing features which have been created and extended in this version. With the release of Psycho Experience Commerce 9.3, marketing automation now allows for users doing a guest checkout to be entered into both the abandoned cart and order place plants. The list manager now gives you the ability to segment your customers based on whether they've purchased a specific product or not. There are also a series of promotion changes, including introducing the ability to extend the end date of a successful promotion and the ability to target a promotion at all of the products within a specific category. Finally, you can now also create customized emails containing product recommendations for your customers. These recommendations can either be based off their purchase history or on a query you can specify. So let's take a look at some of these in action. So first of all, I want to show you these changes to the promotions functionality. I've loaded up the Psycho Experience Commerce tools and I'm going to dive straight into the promotions section. I've got a really successful shipping promotion running at the moment, but it's due to expire shortly. So I want to extend the end date for this. I can search for my promotion now. And what we have, if we use this drop down here, is the ability to edit the end date. So I can now use my date picker to add an extra month onto my promotion, confirm that, and straight away we can see it's been updated. The end summary has changed. The other change to the promotion functionality is the ability to now target promotions at entire categories with the products. So let's take a look at that. Again, I'm going to load up the promotions category, but this time I'm going to create a new promotion. And we're going to call this my fridge promotion. And what we're going to do is we're going to give 10% off all fridges. We'll give it a start date and we'll set the end date to a couple of months in the future. And then we'll copy that display name down for the other fields. We can see it's listed now in the display below. So let's load that up and set up the promotion. So I'm going to start by creating the qualification. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to use cart item is in specific category. We select the catalog that it's applicable to, and then we get look ahead typing. I can go and just type the start of the word and it tells me which category is available. So now let's create the benefit. And we want to use the cart item in category specific percent off. We provide the percentage amount and then once more we choose the same category as before. And it's as easy as that. Now we've created a promotion where all products within the refrigerator category will be given 10% off at the checkout. Okay, so next up I want to take a look at some of the marketing features on the cycle side. And first of all, I'm going to take a look at the different segmentation rules that have now been introduced. And to do that, I'm going to load up the list manager. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new list. And it's going to be a segmented list from all of the contacts that I have in my system. And my list will be called have purchased and then the product ID. We'll give it a description. And then what I want to do is I want to add a list segment to that. And we're going to create a new segment. Again, we'll give it a pretty similar name. And description. And then we're going to create the segmentation. We can edit the rule. And we want to search for the purchase rule, where the contact has purchased a product with a specific ID. Again, we drop the product ID and we're working with. And we can save that and carry on. Once we have that segmented list available, we can then start to use it in the system. So I'm going to hop back to the launch pad and I'm going to load up EXM. And I'm going to create a new product recommendation email. And you can see the templates available for me out of the box. 
Again, we're going to use a similar title because it's going to use the same segmented list I created before. We'll give it uh, the various different email attributes we need. And then we can start to move over to the recipients tab. Here we include the segmented list I created earlier. And we can even go and see what the message is going to look like. We can edit the text as we like, and we can also see an example of how the recommended products are going to be displayed. And straight away, we can send those emails out to the users who have successfully purchased those products. Now the final thing I need to do is to go and check my email, and we can see we've received the recommended products email. It has the same text we specified before, and also the recommended products based on my prior purchase history. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow the Learn Cycle hashtag for future videos.